Hi, this is Chris. I'm in the backyard in the container gardening project. I'm in the tomato area. And uh, yesterday I found the uh, praying mantid in my front yard. And this morning I've brought it um, out back and put it here in the tomato area. I had not covered praying mantids yet because, well, I didn't have any uh, to use as an example. Praying mantids can play an excellent role in controlling your larger pests in the backyard. They're entirely compatible with ladybugs. Uh, they won't eat them. And uh, the ladybugs are not going to eat the uh, praying mantid. The praying mantids are excellent in controlling larger pests that ladybugs won't eat, especially um, different uh, plant worms, tomato worms, loopers, beetles. So the best time of year to release your praying mantids um, actually varies according to uh, your uh, climate. And But in general, I would say about, a, about the time you put out your tomato starts is the best time to begin hatching your praying mantid egg cases. And don't do that by putting them outside. They're out. <laughs> Birds will eat them or other critters will eat them. Hatch them inside the house in a plastic container with some holes in it. And then, when they're hatched, put them under the cover of plant growth so that the little babies can uh, spread out. Um, if you have a very tiny garden with not a lot of plants, don't bother because they need a lot of plant material with a lot of pests in order to have something to eat. And at the end of the day, so to speak, they're only there if they have something to eat. And they vary in color. This is a light green one that I'm trying to get to move along here to uh, kind of tan. Some are larger, some are smaller. This is a pretty small one overall. I'm fairly sure it's a male. It's uh, mid-October, actually going into late October, and praying mantids are out and about quite a bit right now because they're looking for mates. If this is a female, I suspect it would be quite a bit larger. The females are getting ready to lay their eggs for the season. Try and get this guy to move around a little bit. And again, an excellent part of your biocontrol program are uh, praying mantids. Each egg case will hatch 100 to uh, 200 uh, praying mantids. And they'll do great in any vegetable or flower garden. Rose gardens, they do very well. Obviously, um, you cannot be using insecticides when you have a good population of beneficials. Uh, you can use fungicides, typically. Fungicides may irritate them, but won't kill them. So that's our praying mantid. Not a lot of action there, just a, a little bit of uh, coverage on the information side. The bigger ones are fairly strong. I don't know if I can catch it. No, I ain't gonna bother. That one was pretty fast yesterday. You know, it ran me till I trapped it in a jar. The larger ones will actually grab onto your hand or fingers, give you a little bit of a surprise. They're also the only insect that actually can rotate its head around and look at you. So thank you, and uh, check in on the website for availability, which is typically late January through uh, the end of May or June.